It looks like I rubbed KFC's grease all over myself. Welcome. Hey guys, so I, uh, it's your, your girl. <laughs> I have quite a lot of things today, and so why not just get started? But before, give it a thumbs up, or else the video won't start. Like, it's weird, it's like a new YouTube algorithm or something. All right, so throughout this video, I'm gonna be inserting footage because it's just funner that way, you know? It's not quite a vlog, but I just have like, there's footage, footage. It's not vloggy, but it's footage, okay. Goosebumps VHS tape. I actually uh, showed this in my ASMR video on my ASMR channel, so plug. I honestly could not believe my eyes when I saw this because I always find the books, but I never, ever, ever in my life have ever found a VHS tape of the show, which was so beloved by me. You guys, I can't fucking believe I just found this. Oh my god, I'm so excited. But I'm in public, oh my god. Um. It is the Stay Out of the Basement episode, and I remember that one. From the pages of R.L. Stein's best-selling books for kids comes the brand new Goosebumps video you've been waiting for. Stay out of the basement. It's got all of the weird fun. Why are leaves growing out of your head? Creepiness. <laughs> and wild surprises of a Goosebumps book come to life. Oh, gross. And best of all, you can watch it again and again. But whatever you do... Stay out of the basement! Stay out of the basement. The brand new Goosebumps video that's so great, it'll make your hair stand on end. In stores now from Fox Video. It gave me goosebumps, honestly. So, as a lot of you may know, I have to collect everything Titanic. And I found this book, and it says, The Titanic End of a Dream. That's a weird name, like... But anyways, it's got pictures in the middle, like some of the pictures, um... Commemorating this, uh... Event. Which, have you guys heard the conspiracy that the Titanic was like switched, like this was the Olympic or Olympia, something like that. I don't know, I'm a fake ass Titanic fan, but um, I recommend you guys watch Kendall Ray's video on it. Plug girl, you, you, need my, you need this clout. Kendall needs my clout. Keeping with the water theme, Free Willy, oh my god, classic. Dude, this has to be from like what, 93 or something? 93, I guessed it. This movie, I remember it so well, and I was just like so happy because I've always been an animal lover, and when Willie swooshed up on over the rocks and into his rightful right home, 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 fuck, fuck you. you. I was gonna say NASA. <laughs> Fuck Marine, Marine World, World and it's motherfucking mama. mama. How about How that one? So I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to basically be this kid. Not be him, but like he ran away or something, if I recall. And um, I just really wanted to do that. And then I did do that for like 10 minutes. I got this big old trash bag and I put all of my toys, just the toys, no clothing, no toiletries. Um, just the toys, the essentials. I look like fucking Santa Claus and I walked a little past my house, like five steps outside of the boundaries of my house. And then I was like, ah, I can't show you this. Fuck it. It's canceled, you know? I don't know where I was going, but Free Willy, like, it was gonna break families. This shirt, okay, let me explain. It's a Sweeney Todd, uh, Barber, beware, Sweeney Todd, beware, it says beware, Sweeney Todd is coming. And it says Johnny Depp at the bottom. So, I have cleansed and washed my hands clean of Johnny Depp, but the thing is, I really like this movie. Should I have gotten, I don't know. I mean, I got it at a thrift store, it's not like I'm supporting the man, you know? So that's that. We'll just, we'll just skip that. The New Yorker Book of Cat Cartoons. Um, I am a cat lover, I'm a cat lady, which P.S. My Tumblr got hacked by a porn bot, and I changed my name on my new Tumblr to Sick Sad Cat Lady, so. And so this is what it says it is. <laughs> it's a New Yorker Book of Cat Cartoons. And um, honestly, I looked through these and I kind of didn't get it. It's kind of like white people jokes, so. A little under-seasoned, under cooked um but nonetheless i love me some cats so i had to get it 
All right, this next bag is from the Good Samaritan and it's like a Christian kind of a like store. I got a few Goosebump books. The first one here is, see, that's fucking vile. Don't do that. Why? Like now I have to get my goo gone out. Who the fuck wants to do that shit? This is the Stay Out of the Basement, which coincides with the, you know, VHS tape I got earlier. Just adding to my Goosebumps collection, I wanted to have every single book, because I'm that bitch. And the next one is Chicken Chicken. Again, fuck you. Good Samaritan. <laughs> fuck Jesus. No, I'm just kidding. I like the ones that say, um, well, just have different things, because like, this one doesn't have that, and it just kind of makes it different. We kind of breaks it up a little bit with the monotony, and and I love how in the back it says Goosebumps on Saturday morning on Fox Kids. I mean, the nostalgia hit me like a train every time I read that, like every time. Saturday on Fox Kids, stay out of the basement. Why are leaves growing out of your head? Because we're serving up a spectacular all-you-one-hour Goosebumps special. <laughs> so eat your veggies before they eat you. Plant that is part animal. Catch a bonus special all you one hour goosebumps Saturday on Fox Kids. And I thought this one was so cool. I've never run across one that's like this. Uh, it's glittery, like holographic or whatever. And it's one of those like uh, pick your own adventure kind of books, which um, I really liked as a kid because it was like reading was kind of, I don't know, like kind of not, I didn't like it much. And this made it like more fun, I guess. And I would always kind of like, well, not always, but sometimes I'd be like, well, let me just see if I pick this, and I'd go to that page and I'd be like, nah, nah, let's go with the other page. So, fond memories of me cheating the system, you know? And then, again, Titanic, see a theme here, I love, it's like Goosebumps and Titanic, that's all. I love watery deaths. We love, we love a watery death. <laughs> This was supposed to be a game. Yeah, that didn't happen. I actually have footage from my Instagram of me trying to play this. Cut to the footage. I found this game at a thrift store. It, it didn't cost me $9.99. Bitch, I don't think so. It cost me like $2, but my <sighs> Titanic had to have it. The Titanic game didn't even work. This dusty White House like game is working that's like a bonus game in here i don't want it do not want i did not sign up for this miranda class was canceled it's mr barrett he's um hey stella i gotta go miranda what are you doing sugar daddy didn't work so <laughs> i wish this one worked because it looked really cool you're supposed to solve a mystery oh it says 20 unique levels allow you to search for clues solve puzzles and get your lifeboat for survival don't miss a thing so And the last thing I found at the Good Samaritan was this. What's his name? Ozio? Uzio? Dude, fake fan. This is from Assassin's Creed. I just started playing the games because I just got a PS4 like this past year. But I really like the games. And I saw this and I'm like, oh my god! It was the only Funko Pop there. It just happened to be something that I'm into, so I just had to get it, you know. It's kind of ugly, but like, whatever, you know what I mean. This next one is from the Hope Chest. Ah, uh, yes. The Hope Chest is, swear to God, it's my favorite thrift store. It's just, it's a good mix of like messy but like organized. I don't like Goodwill because like they just mainly have like new stuff and it's like really organized and really expensive. This one's just like anything, just whatever. You know what I mean? They don't care. Like, woo woo. Like, they're just like wild up in there, you know? There's no rule. Okay, no. Stephen King's Salem's Lot. I just realized this is from Goodwill. <laughs> Sorry, I was so confused. This is the Goodwill shit. No, I remember now. I got this at Goodwill. Uh, it's Goodwill Telltale sign. <laughs> Love them. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Salem's Lot. I don't know why it just called to me. Researched what it's about. It seemed interesting up until I got to the part where like supposedly everyone in his hometown is turning into vampires, which I should have known. 
I should have fucking known. I mean, it's right there. But um, <sighs> your girl was like not paying attention when she bought this. So, but anyways, still I like the cover, and I guess I judge the book by its covers. <laughs> so. Oh my god, you guys! I found my white. Ooh, this is cool. Again, <laughs> love you, Goodwill. This is the Adams Family on VHS. I'm a huge Adams Family fan. And when I saw this, I saw that it wasn't just your ordinary VHS tape like I've seen a million times. It has this McDonald's thing and it says, purchased at McDonald's, not for resale or rental. I looked up information on this and I guess if you bought, what was it, like a burger or something, you could get this for like a certain price or something. And I found the commercial, I wanna play it. You can see these new movies at theaters and head for McDonald's Holiday Film Festival where you can pick up the original videos. The Addams Family or Wayne's World. Just $5.99 each when you buy any large sandwich at McDonald's. Cool. Also available, the children's classic Charlotte's Web or Ghost. Just $5.99 each when you buy any large sandwich. I was not aware of that. But hurry, because they'll be gone in a snap. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. I don't know, I just thought that was cool. I love old commercials. Sometimes I, I just go on YouTube and I just put on like a compilation of 90s commercials. I don't know. Anyone else do that? But yeah, I don't know if all the other ones were red and uh, yellow, but I mean, I don't know, hit me up. Just seems like it's the McDonald's colors. Oh yeah, look, it's right here. It's uh, McDonald's right there. This is actually one of my favorite movies ever, but I already own it, but. This was really cool, okay, because let me just back it up a little bit. <laughs> back that ass up. I got this um, toy here from, it's just from eBay. And it's an Erie Indiana toy because for some reason, uh, this show just, I just started like thinking about it. And it's not a show that I remember much of because it, it didn't air for too long. The original, when it aired the first time. My name is Marshall Teller. Not long ago, I was living in New Jersey, just across the river from New York City. It was crowded, polluted, and full of crime. I loved it. But my parents wanted a better life for my sister and me. So we moved to a place so wholesome, so squeaky clean you could only find it on TV. Unfortunately, nothing could be further from the truth. Sure, my new hometown looks normal enough, but look again. I was kind of young, I don't know, I was probably like six or something, I'm not sure. And so I don't remember it much. Nobody believes me, but this is the center of weirdness for the entire planet. Thank you, little paper boy. Eerie and here. My home sweet home. Still don't believe me? always like stuck with me because it, it's kind of like goosebumps in a way and um but this was like before goosebumps the show was on and i don't know i just like started thinking about it i don't know why i can't explain it <laughs> a little crazy <laughs> and so i bought this toy it's actually like a just you're supposed to squirt water through the eyeball so i bought that toy right and i kid you not like two days later i go to the thrift store and i find this little car do you see that that's crazy, right? It says Too Weird Erie Indiana, and it's uh, like a milkman, but it's like a, like Sasquatch or whatever. Like, it's so fucking cool. He's like driving the little milk truck. It's so cute. When I saw this, which now that I remember, this one is from Hope Chest. What's going on? It's supposed to be a Carl's Jr. Um, toy. I just couldn't believe that I saw this because, like I said, I had been thinking about this little obscure show from the early 90s and to find like something about it is just, I don't know, I just, I feel like, am I a psychic in some way? Am I an empath? I don't even know. All right, I'm gonna move on because I'll talk about that little fucking car for years to come, you know? So I recently got into reading, I know, shock and awe, and that is because of this book. 
Scar Tissue by Anthony Kiedis. It all started because I was at the Hope Chest and I'm always like checking out like what they have in the book section even though I'm I don't read because it's just for some reason I've never enjoyed it, right? I saw they have this book. And I was like, I have to get it because the Red Hot Chili Peppers hold like a nostalgia factor for me, like late 90s thing and Scar Tissue is probably like my favorite song of theirs. So I got it and one day I was just kind of like, I don't know what like possessed me to do this, but I just started just reading a page and then I read more and before you know it, I have read all this. Watch. Look at this. That's a chunk. That's like a decent chunk. And look at... You know how to do it. You know how to do it to him. Goosebumps, fucking. What is it called? Bookmark. Ah, yes. Anthony Kiedis has quite a life, and I don't want to spoil it, but he's like really little doing big boy things. <laughs> Bad fucking things, bad things. This man lived more at 9 and 10 than you will probably ever live, just saying. I know it's like ghost written or whatever, I don't know like, I don't want to like. But anyways, my point is, I think I cracked the code with books. I think that what happened is, at this whole time when I was little, I was just reading like little kid books, which tend to be like fantasy and like just fiction and all this stuff. I think just like TV, like I like documentaries, just real reality TV. I know reality TV isn't real, but you know, you get what I mean, it's kind of like real. I don't like sci-fi and like just fake things like that. And I think that's why I didn't enjoy reading this whole time. And in fact, when I was younger, the only books that I really ever read was The American Girls, which was a history kind of a series that was like kind of like based on reality, I guess. So I just think I wasn't enjoying the other books because they were fucking boring and fake. So I think I enjoy things like this where it's like an autobiography. And in fact, uh, this is not part of the haul, but I got Marilyn Manson. Uh, so I got from eBay, but I read a good little chunk to it. It's been very disturbing but it's interesting and I just think I just like real type stuff so uh, crack the book code y'all it took 34 years so I'm a reader I'm never gonna read Harry Potter last but not least is it Berenstein or Berenstain <laughs> Mandela effect Personally, in my neck of the woods, I called it Berenstain Bears, I don't know. But I thought this was really cool, Galloping Ghost. I'm into like this paranormal and stuff. And I used to read these books all the time when I was little because this was when like reading was still like fun because it was just a little few little words and then like all these pictures. I mean, <laughs> that's what I enjoyed, you know? I remember reading these books a lot and when I saw this and it, it's coupled with like ghostly things. Your girl had to purchase it. Your girl had to drop 10 cents on that shit, so. So the first item is this orange little box. And as you can see, I wrote concert tickets on there. And that's where I'm storing all my concert tickets and memorabilia. What attracted me to this box was that it was orange, like Nickelodeon orange, so really like that. And I got this in the spirit of Halloween. This, I have like a fake candle in there. You know, I'm a hypochondriac, I don't wanna burn down my house and my body. But yeah, I thought that was cute. And this lamp, uh, I had this little Snoopy sticker on it already. This just doesn't do it justice because it's just like all blown out because of the light, but like see I don't know I really like it and uh, Yeah, a little glitter lamp that is On my shelf. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed that and hey subscribe if you enjoyed it. I guess I mean I guess you know subscribe I guess <laughs> It's cool. I guess whatever it'd be cool. I guess Oh, <laughs>